Well, public pressure continues to mount against the state DOT's plan to rework the 198 near Delaware Park. And tonight, community activists, they brought in an outside engineering expert in an effort to rally support for their cause. To your side, Danny Spiewak is here tonight to explain what their demands are. Danny, what's happening? Well, Scott, they want the DOT to rethink its proposal and implement the community's suggestions. The DOT's public comment period on the 198 plan ends in five days, so the clock is ticking here. The state's $100 million plan for the 198 has implications for an entire generation. So what's it all about? Well, the DOT proposes changing the 198 from an expressway to a boulevard. That includes adding bike and walking lanes, raising medians, and making seven new traffic signals to ease car traffic. But groups like the Buffalo Olmsted Parks Conservancy that want to save Delaware Park say the plan is not adequate. The issues with, with this project in, in particular is that it's looking at such a narrow scope of, of, the, of the roadway and it's not dealing with the true scale of, of the problems. These groups, along with many neighbors, want to see a DOT plan that's more friendly to bikers and walkers, like, for example, eliminating vehicle traffic from that stone bridge over Delaware Avenue. In short, they want to see a plan that better connects the park. I believe in walkability. I believe in bringing continuity back into our neighborhoods. Um, and preventing any further destruction of our neighborhood. But the public only has five days left to submit comments about the DOT's final environmental impact statement. After that, DOT could move forward with its plans with the Federal Highway Administration. So on Wednesday, the Buffalo Olmsted Parks Conservancy hosted a national expert at Buff State to talk about his experience in dealing with roads like the 198. With nearly 100 people in the audience, the idea was that the event could motivate the public to continue putting pressure on the DOT this week. Do you feel at this point that you're being heard by the DOT? Uh, well, we think that the, 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 the DOT has kind of laid out their plan and they said take it or leave it. Uh, and uh, we think this is really a political decision. We need our elected leaders to stand up with, with, with the community and call DOT back to the table. Assemblyman Sean Ryan spoke at Buffalo State tonight and called for the DOT to basically go back to the drawing board with what he called a total reset. But the DOT has remained adamant that it is listening to public input and they believe they've carefully crafted a plan that works for bikers, walkers and drivers. Danny Speedwalk, Channel 2 News. You got it, Danny. Thank you.